I want to show you how to configure inbound email for your Alfresco Community Edition server. I'm sitting in uh, the root directory where I have installed Alfresco using the binary installer and I have a text editor open and I'm going to Tomcat Shared Classes Alfresco Global Properties. That's the file we want to edit. And you can see I've got the outbound email config so when Alfresco wants to send an email this is how it knows how to do that. Uh, but what I need is the inbound. I want users to be able to send email into the server. And so we're going to copy the Alfresco email service and email server section from alfrescoglobal.properties.sample. Just going to copy that whole thing. And we'll paste it into alfresco-global.properties. Now, I currently have an SMTP server already running on port 25 on this machine. And so we can't have Alfresco listening on the same port. It needs to be a different port. So I'm specifying port 1025 here instead. Give it my server domain. And really that's all I need to do for this basic demonstration. So now what we need to do is save the file and restart the server. My server is not running so we will just start it using alfresco.sh space start. The server will go through its startup sequence and once it gets started we can flip over to the browser. Let's log in and there's a little bit of um, administration we need to do before we can run our test. We need to go to the groups and look for the email contributors group. This is essentially a whitelist that says what users are able to send email to the repository. So let's add a test user to this group. Okay, so the users in the group. Let's go over to our test site and let's make a folder that the emails can be sent to. We'll just call this drop off. Now the next step isn't strictly required but it is helpful to your users and what we're going to do is we're going to change the metadata that's tracked about this folder. I'm going to manage the aspects and we're adding the aliasable email aspect to this folder. Now we can edit the properties and give this folder an alias. This is essentially the folder's email address. So we are telling it that its alias is drop off. And I'm double checking that the test user has the ability to create documents in this test site. And that looks okay. So now let's go create an email using that test user's email account. We'll send an email to drop off and then the server domain that we specified in the properties file. And we'll just give it a subject and a short body and we will add an attachment. So obviously you could have multiple folders in your repository, each with their own unique email alias. And as long as the users are in that email contributors group they should be able to do this. Um, you'll get an error right away if uh, they're not in that group. So we've sent the email and now if we go look at the folder here is the email body and the image that was attached to the email. If we open up that email body um, we can obviously see the contents of the email and if we scroll down and look at the metadata we can see who sent the email, who it was addressed to, and a list of the attachments.